of the powders, which one would you choose? Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Krizia here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm a professional makeup artist and a content creator. And today's topic, the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So for those of you who have heard of this powder already, you know that Laura Mercier is known for this original powder right here, an icon. It's been around for so long. And this was one of my favorite powders to use on all of my clients. So I've not only used this on a ton of different faces, but I've used this personally on myself for years. Recently, Laura Mercier relaunched this powder with a new formula. It's called the Ultra Blur Loose Translucent Powder. And there are some key differences, some similarities. So if you're wondering which powder is for you, or you're just curious to know what the differences are, then this video is for you. A lot of you loved my video that I did last time on the original translucent powder, comparing it to the honey shade. So if you're curious to know which of the shades is right for you, then go ahead and watch this video here where I do a side by side comparison. In. So let's get into it. So I've already put on my makeup. As you can see, I have no powder on my face yet. I'm re-blending it because I just want to make sure it's not creasing before you set the powder. I actually trained with Laura Mercier at one point in my career. So I know a lot of history about the brand and I've learned some really cool tips and tricks working with Laura Mercier. This is the original translucent powder here. So the original loose powder is renowned for its lightweight translucent formula designed to set makeup and control shine. It has a classic matte finish, blurring imperfections, and providing a smooth complexion. Has 16 hour wear, 24 hour shine control, no flashback, classic matte finish. You can buy a full size for $47 and a mini size for $27. And then on the other hand, we have the newer Ultra Blur Loose Powder, which in the end, I'm gonna tell you my favorite and why. So make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna give you all the things you need to know about this to really know for sure which one is right for you. Ultra Blur Loose Powder has an updated formula which focuses on advanced blurring technology. So it's designed to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines, creating a more airbrushed effect. And the Ultra Blur Powder has a slightly different texture. It's more of a velvety feel when you apply it. Also the same 16 hour wear has a soft matte finish. One of the high selling points of this powder is it was formulated without talc. So I don't know if you guys remember that documentary, but there was a lot of craze about powders having talc in it. And I think because of that, it was around that time when they launched this powder to be talc free. And it also claims on the site does not clog pores. And just as the original, there is no flashback. The full size runs for $52, so it's a little bit more. And the mini size is $28. Let's put them on. So this is the original. We're gonna put this on my left side of my face. This is the original translucent loose powder. I even have my Laura Mercier Velour Puff. I actually like to place a little bit onto the lid. They have this press and roll formula that I learned working with Laura Mercier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweep all of this onto one side of the puff. And they would tell us to massage it in. So take that half, fold it in like a taco, and then rub it together. And then tap off any extra, which you can see there's quite a bit. And once we're ready, We'll go in and set, let me bring you in a little closer. They also taught us this pat and roll technique. I do it sometimes, but to be honest, I don't do it every time. I usually start with underneath the eye and then I go towards the smile line area and then across to my jawline and over the cheek. I'm going to bake on both sides in just a moment so we can get a true comparison. So this is the original. Very smooth, like just as I remember it. This is the side without it. You can already see a difference though. This powder has really mattified the skin, the original, versus here, you can see a lot of the shine. It does give a really true matte finish. So if you're someone who values like that very flawless filtered type of look, then you probably will really like this one. But before we come to any conclusions, we're gonna move on and we're gonna try the Ultra Blur Loose Powder. Ultra Blur, the new one. This is the newer formula and I'm gonna use the same puff, but so we're not mixing them together. I don't want anyone to say that we mix them together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this inside out by the way, that's a little tip. If you want to get your puff to last a little bit longer, like between washes, I just flip this little thing over and then use the clean side. 
It's not brand new, but it's kind of brand new. So what I like to do, and then we just tip it over into the lid and I just made a mess on my leg. Help. Are we noticing a difference? As I, I haven't compared them side by side like this, I don't think, so this is interesting. I am noticing a difference. To be fair, I have this little light here that I'm gonna hold up on this side so we can get a more balanced light. This is the original, and then this is the Ultra Blur. Do we notice a difference? Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, so I will say that these are, this is what I already know about the powder, but I can definitely see it more now that I have them side by side. This is the blurring powder. I do notice there is a softer finish on my face on this side, whereas this one looks more classic matte, just like it says in the description. Mmm, that's tough. They both make the skin look pretty soft. This does look smoother. To me personally, it does look smoother. Like this looks matte but it's more of like a flat mat, I guess. Sometimes you do want a flat mat if you are going for a specific type of glam. Actually, let's add a little bit more. Now to see how they look when you bake underneath the eyes because I do use these powders to bake most of the time, which we'll do a whole separate video on baking if you want one, but basically that's just adding a lot more powder under the eye and letting it sit to absorb excess oils but I think you can really see the true differences of the powder when you do bake with it because the formula will come in play a lot more. It also gives more of a snatched look when you bake, so I do like to do this pretty often. It's like a facelift. <laughs> okay, I added more powder on both sides so that we can get more of a baking effect. This is the original, this is the ultra blur, and I also think that you can see it better when I bake with it because there's more texture and there's more powder. I'm also noticing the color of the original. It seems a bit warmer, right? Like, I don't know if I'm tripping because of my lights maybe, but this does look a little bit more yellow toned and this looks a little bit more neutral. Let's talk about the differences. Okay, as someone who has both powders and loves both of these powders, the original, okay, who is this for? It is marketed for all skin types, but I will say that this is more of like an, a high coverage, full coverage type of look. Even though it is, they're both translucent powders. Like if I'm going to like an event and I wanna just look extra snatched with maybe like that full coverage, like classic Kim K type of baking look, then I would probably go with this. Now, if your skin is a little bit more on the dry or sensitive side, that's when I think this one will be your favorite because it is talc-free. It's formulated to not clog your pores. Not that I've had issues with this one because my skin is sensitive, but I do prefer this because it just feels cleaner. It feels lighter. It feels more hydrating. This actually even has hyaluronic acid formulated into this powder, which means it's more hydrating, it's more flexible on the skin. As far as the way that they wear, I can confidently say they do live up to the claims of 16 hour wear, 24 hour wear, whatever. Like I literally have used this powder on people and at the end of the day, they will text me and be like, how did you make my makeup feel like it just went on at the end of the day? Like my makeup, I don't wanna wash it off. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. I think the differences are so slight that it's really more of a preference that it comes down to if you like the way this one blurs more or if you like the way this just looks more like classic matte. Now I said that I would tell you my favorite and my favorite is the ultra blur now because my skin has slowly shifted into being a little bit more sensitive and dry at this moment and I have been leaning more towards picking this one up often, like every day. While we're here, I wanted to try this blush with you because it's brand new. Ah, oh, so pretty. This is from Laura Mercier. It's called Strawberry, and I just opened it right out of the box because I wanted to put it on after we did the powder. It's called Strawberry Blush Color Infusion. So let's try that on, why not, while we finish this so you can get the full final look. I'm usually not really a pinky type of blush, more of a coral peachy blush girl, but let's see. 
Oh, I love how soft it is actually. Oh, I feel like I would love to load this up because I'm a heavy handed blush applier when I do apply bl powdered blush. So the fact that it's kind of like a lightweight blush makes it easy to really build it up. Cause sometimes when you have too much pigment, it makes it hard to blend it. So this is nice. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this blush. <gasps> Here is the final look with blush and all. Should we put on a lip color? I think we should put on a lip color, huh? Because I just have my lip balm on. This is Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner. One of my favorites. I love this lip pencil. Cream Caramel Lip Gloss. They smell like vanilla cupcakes. I'm not even kidding. I totally forgot how good these were because I used to use them and I stopped for a while. And I mean, that's what I love about these lip glosses because you can wear them truly by themselves, but I like to put them with lip liner just to get the shape, but come on. All right, here's the final look. So we have the original and then we have ultra blur on this side. I personally prefer the ultra blur more often now, but I will always love my original, just a different bond with different reasons. I also have a promo code that I'll leave in the description down below if you wanna use it for 20% off on any Laura Mercier products. Go ahead and treat yourself. If you've been thinking about getting a powder, now is the time. I will also leave all the products of this makeup look listed in the description box. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Up. Comment down below which one was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep slaying your makeup and your life. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Not it being dark outside now. Oops. This is why you don't film in front of a window because we can see how long this takes.